Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got my little kayak here. Um, again, a lot of folks have probably done reviews on these little kayaks. Wonderful little EDC knife. Uh, this is a factory second. And so um, from uh, Rosecraft Blades, uh, saved me 40% on buying this knife um, full price. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate it opportunity to buy this knife and so um i'll talk a little bit about this knife but um kayak's been around for a while it's been reviewed so um i'm not really going to do a review on it i am going to share with you um what the uh second is on this knife so you can decide yourself whether you'd want to have a knife like this at 40 percent off or not so if you'd like to hear about that, go ahead and check out the video. Oh no. I can't believe you have cavities. What is a cavity? A cavity is it's dark. It's dark? And brown. It's brown, not dark. Did the dentist show you a cavity? Yeah. There's two cavities in here. Wow. Have you been eating candy? Yeah. All right. Welcome back to the Fortified Castle. Hi, all my viewers. Today we're going to be kayaking down the uh, Okoe River. Yeah. Nah, not really. We're going to be kayaking with this, though. It is a kayak from Rosecraft Blades. Just a beautiful little knife. Um, deal about a kayak. Uh, you're basically talking about, I just happen to have this knife right here. Um, this is a um, canoe. And so uh, kayaks had this uh, swell center in the canoe and no bolster on the end. Uh, if you take the canoe and you make it a four inch knife or, or maybe three and three quarters, quarters to four inch it, it's a gunboat and so different names for the same pattern um there was also a knife made like this called a surveyor and it was a canoe with a swell center this is a swell center center swells up here and um it had two blades and it was called a surveyor uh pattern back in uh, pre-1940s. Uh, so uh, you could call this a survey survey pattern too, surveyor pattern too, I reckon. But uh, anyhow, um, we'll talk about uh, how I saved 40% on this knife. All right, uh, so why would you get this knife when you know there's a problem with it? <clears throat> well, I'll just tell you uh, most of the problems uh, seconds that Rosecraft sells um, they're cosmetic issues that really don't affect the function of the knife that's not the case in this knife here uh, it's not a cosmetic um, problem with this knife so um, this kayak uh, design first uh, I like it I would like it if better if it was three and three quarters. This is like two and a half to two and five eighths inches. Get a good three fingers on it. It has a fantastic design so you can see how the blade just angles down. You have a little flat part here and it's going to just be a great detail knife for you um, for working. This is a... a a modified type of sheep's foot blade and um i think kershaw was the first one that that made this blade and uh it's very popular now found on a lot of knives this has the addition of a very attractive swedge on it uh any armstrong designed on here beautifully designed the knife as is many of his knives his work and um, nice, smooth, red bone. 
just fantastic knife. So um, the problem with this knife, if you look close, you have a little blade behind you. So you're probably not seeing that. There you go. There you go. You see that? See it closed? So I'm putting a lot of pressure to uh, close that, that gap. So it's not just wobbling, right? It's not wobbling. When I do that, it, I have to really crank on this thing to get it to move. Yeah, it's not a big deal, right? This blade doesn't wobble, right? The, the little case test doesn't wobble if you go like that. It's solid. Not only that, it's very tight in here. So uh, even if it did wobble a little bit, the... the um, the, the um, specifications on this knife are so tight, it wouldn't matter, right? It's not going to matter at all. Um, it has nowhere to go. It's so, so tightly made. And so, um, yeah, that doesn't bother me at all. And if, if you didn't know, if I sold you this knife, you would open it. You would ever, never know that problem existed on this knife. Because if you just took the knife and checked the blade wobble, it doesn't wobble. Uh, hard for it to wobble when it's so tight in there. Very well designed knife. So yeah. Um, another reason why you might want to get this. I always want to have a, a get a kayak. But there's so many knives in so little time. I just never got this, uh, picked up this kayak, um, because it's just, you know, I'm always buying other knives. And, um, so these things, uh, I believe are going to be put into the vault. And so that's another reason that you may want to, uh, get this knife. Um, I don't think I'm wrong about that. I heard that these were going to go to the vault. So, um. The only place, um, it'd probably be a good idea to grab one while you can. If you, you know, wanted to get one of these and like me was putting it off, um, you know, it's a good opportunity to get, get it at 40%. And so, uh, that was the deal on this. I'm really satisfied with this knife, by the way. And, um, it was a good deal for me. Maybe it'd be a good deal for you. Maybe save you 40%. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching the video, and that's the deal on the 40% off on the kayak. Uh, pretty sure they're going to, pretty sure I, I read where they're going to uh, put this in the vault. I might be mistaken about that, but uh, I'm pretty sure they are going to put these things in the vault. Great little pattern to have. So, um, yeah, thanks for your support. Thanks for checking out the video.